Hey nerds, welcome back to Darksiders Genesis. On your Dentials full playthrough. Guys, this is part 22. I am excited to get to the end of this. I know there's 16 chapters, I think. And I just wrapped up, I believe, chapter 12. So, and we just helped Abaddon, we defeated Belial, and we defeated the fallen angel Astarte. So, you guys know the drill. Let's get to it. Alright guys, well apparently, actually... I am... I finished 11. So now we need to go talk to uh, the bigwigs up here. Let's see what they have next for us in the plot. Oh. Oh, I need to talk to Vogrim. Alright, well, he's a hop skip down here. Yes, the Elder Stone. Give it here. I trust you've wielded it with care? Utmost care. Is this... dried blood? Huh? Oh. Um... Must have already been on there. In any event, I should be able to seal off Lucifer's pathways to Eden, as was promised. Leave me! I guess we should pop that fat slug before that happens. Not quite. You will want to speak with Samael. He has... Troubling news. Ugh. Troubling. Ugh. Now I gotta go back over to Samael. Because he got troubling news. That's exciting. You've recovered the Elder Stone. Lucifer's entrance to Eden will soon be cut off. But I fear his business there was already concluded. He has promised Eden to another. Another? Dagon, the self-proclaimed Drowned King, has claimed Eden by some pact. He has already begun the cleansing. Well, that doesn't sound too bad. Dagon's cleansing is a great flood to drown the world. Every living thing will be washed away. A clean slate upon which to build his kingdom. I guess we should pop that fat slug before that happens. Dagon relies on his loyal Stormcaller to bring the Flood. Stop this Shaman and his followers, and you will foil the Drowned King's ambitions. There's a part of me that's okay at the thought of Eden being scrubbed out of existence. <sighs> More deep commentary by our beloved brother Strife. Their backstory is a little interesting. They, they keep indicating traumatic things that the brothers have gone through in the past. So, uh, real quick, let's check out any more upgrades. Do I have any more options? Check out the Volgum shop. Uh, all is purchased in items. Oh, potions to use. Potion health power up. Potion wrath infusion power up. Vessel of Undying. Hmm. Automatically use it. An available health potion when you take fatal damage. That would be nice, but I'm about 40,000 short. And a lot of Bowman coins, too. Dang. Uh, wait, let's check out cores. Okay, we don't need to buy cores right now. Oh, you know what else we should check out? Diz's shop. Because she has some fighting moves and stuff. Rapid fire times two. I mean, there's a, quite a few here. Um... Uh, let's see. War. I've gotten quite a few, quite a, quite a lot of war. War doesn't have too much left. Ultimate meteor. Let's let's buy a couple of these. Let's get war up there. Synergy meter. <gasps> Ooh, the synergy meter will fill up during combat. When the meter is full, you can perform a synergy ability by holding A. In single player mode, you will switch characters performing the synergy ability of the incoming character. Oh, ho, ho, ho. co-op mode. You will not switch characters when performing a synergy ability in co-op. Okay. Oh, interesting. Let's get the harpoon tackle after dash upgrade. And... Oh, we're running out of souls. Let's get the flip saw too. And we're out. We have to grind out some more cash. That's okay. We're ready to jump into chapter 12, guys. Without further ado... Let's get in it. The Maelstrom. Shamans of the Demon Master Dagon are using dark magic to flood Eden. 
The horsemen launch an assault against them. Recommend. All right, guys, let's do this. Let's. Uh, oh, yeah, let's get in. Horsemen. Dagon Stormcaller cowers behind this barrier. His shaman roam these grounds using foul magic to keep it sealed. Find them and break the seal. Magic will not save this Stormcaller from his fate. Complete find where the corrupted shaman is hiding. And then additional mission, cold grub nest to flush out their queen. Only thing available here is the gate up ahead. Wait, what is that? It's not a trickster lure. Hmm. I wonder, is this going to be another boss battle? Or are we going to, you know, make quick work of uh, something else? Finally, I landed that. I was missing those. Let's check out what that lift is for, though. Is that just to get back up to where we started? Or is there a hidden chest? No, it doesn't appear to be. I guess if you missed this getting the building the barrier coins. Abaddon spoke of. Let's find those shaman and ask them nicely to take it down. Out of the water. Is there anything up this way? <clears throat> you never know. Me and waterfalls have gotten lucky lately. Ooh, electrical storms. Yikes. <gasps> Mint to collect 200 Bowman coins. Woot! That's pretty cool. Better be careful. I am in water. Is the map showing us going down? Yeah, there, there's another Bowman coin right there. I don't have yet. Hmm. I love fighting behind the shadows. That. <clears throat> okay. Am I at the bottom of the map yet? Nope, not quite. Okay, let me check the map. Right, uh, you know, I'm gonna go down to the bottom corner and see what we can find here. Oh, we can summon the horse so I get a little more speed through here. Nice. Oh, what is this? Oh, what are you, sir? They're just, oh, they're one of the shamans! Not for long. Oh my god, okay. Execution mode. That's right. Which is... One of the three seals is dropped. There we go. Very nice. What is this? What is this? That's oh, just a beacon or something. Exploring the corners, the far corners here. What's up here? Oh, hey, this is one of those holes uh, that Strife can activate with his little electrical orb. Oh, and it's right here. This ain't... Hmm. This is the most straightforward one I've ever seen. <laughs> Awesome. Oh, of course. We're going to be dealing with. Oh my goodness. Okay, we gotta. What is going on here? Alright, stone scan. Going in with a little bit of triple bashing. Come on. Is that a creature I summoned that was fighting alongside me? That's interesting. You don't see that every day. Let's see what this guy here. Let's see, we zip around. Ooh, these guys are a little tough. Oh, these guys are definitely tough. We need to heal up a little bit here. So we don't... What did he just do? Did he clip? Are they teleporting? Clipping? What's going on here? 
Ugh, I hate bitches. Man, I had to triple attack that up. Angel Champion. Dash and deals minimal damage based on attack power. That's a cool new orb. We'll definitely have to take a look at that one. Let's switch over here. Let's practice a little bit of... Um, let's go... I love Static Shock. Let's go with Static Shock. Come on. Let's do that. Yeah, yeah. Stop hitting me, you dicks. I'm trying to bring the Static Shock in here. Okay, now we're going for Heavy Static. Heavy Static, demons! Well, they're angels. Maybe they're fallen angels. I don't know. What's the spiel there? I like how he's just taking it. Or maybe he's in sh such shock that he can't fight back. I don't know. That was a weird situation. I'm not gonna lie. Alright, now we can open this. I think it's abysmal armor. Nope. A bullet for all seasons. Find all five of Strife's elemental ammo types. Nature shot. Fire widespread bullets that have a chance to spawn health orbs when enemies are hit. Hot streak. Shots will also imbue enemies with nature energy. Striking an imbued enemy has a chance to spawn health orbs and cause them to explode into health orbs on death. The passive ability attack power is permanently increased for each ammo type acquired. That is sexy, I'm not gonna lie. I like it. Hmm. Equip the nature shot. Use the nature shot. And the hot streak is active. Enemies hit with nature shot will become imbued with nature energy, causing them to spawn health orbs when struck. That is cool. That's gonna, dude. That's that could be a game-changing move. Okay, I didn't get all of them. We got one more missing here. Let's try this. We're gonna experiment. Uh, actually, let's go with that and that there. That's how we assign it. Mm-hmm. So now I'm like. That's cool. Oh man, that's cool. I want to see what that looks like. Okay, so we uncovered that there. That's good. Let's go back up over here and see what we see. Let's find out. Can we summon horse yet? There we go. All right, my stallion. Let's explore all the corners. Okay. Apparently, we can only we can't use the. We gotta pull off of it. There we go. Oh, look at all those freaking health orbs. Oh, man. Boss fights are going to be real helpful having those. Oh, yeah. We fire off this. Then we electrocute him for a little bit. Oh, the spice of life. This is a cool new ability. <sighs> Strife gets more cool as the game finishes. Feral Tide Hunter. Getting damaged has a 2% chance. Wow. To spawn a water eruption, dealing damage based on wrath power in a 3 meter radius around you. Now, 2%, that's weak sauce. But most things are weak sauce at level 1. Hopefully we get more of those later on. I may, on my offline time guys, I may consider playing this in like hard mode plus or something. Whatever it is they offer. Alright, now that they've been imbued, I can just electrocute them and they keep dropping healing orbs. So cool, look at that. I, so far, have not lost a lot of health. You just, you light them up. Oh, I don't want this, but this will do. It'll work. Can I kill him with this too? Let's see. I know it imbues them with a lot of freaking orbs of healing. Oh man, look at that. This is just, this is silly. Look at all the healing orbs. Guys, there's so much green going on in this field. Ah. And it's like while you're fighting with this, you're practically never losing health. Even if you're getting hit, you're very quickly recovering. Okay, it's small. It's small, but I bet... I wonder if one of the uh, creature orbs on the skill tree... Huh, I wonder if they could increase the power of this. It's still, it's cool. There's a lot of them. It's kind of ridiculous. But it works, guys. It works quite elegantly. One out of three nests flush out the queen. Alright, that's one of the secondary objectives. 
I wonder how much damage I take. I don't want to test it out, but I wonder how much damage I take if I got hit by a lightning strike. All right, Bowman coins. We got one raw here, one right here, one straight north of me. Let's see what it takes to get. What do? I, what kind of mayhem do I have to climb to get to it here? Okay, I'm stuck on a rock. This is never a good sign. Oh, whatever it was in the level, it killed me. Or, I got struck by lightning. One of the two. Okay, I got thrown just north of it. To a little weird campsite, apparently. Okay, oh, that's where I was. Okay, where's the Bowman coin? We are very curious, we are! Oh, what are these guys? Alright, get out of here. Goodness gracious. How dare you disturb my bullet flow. That is just not how I like things to go. Okay, well, here's an interesting... Oh, here's the next shaman. Alright, we're gonna... Intensely shoot you with a bullet while you stand there like a silly man Okay, can I Oh, That's not fully regenerated yet darn it Let's try na uh, nature. Let's try nature shot Nature shot for 500 Alex I know I'm running out dang it. I need more replenishing items for my favorite God, this thing is, it works, it pushes them back, but I don't feel like it does as much damage unless I really charge it. Like this, you gotta throw back a heavy one. Oh, I am, I almost died. That left, right, okay, let's do it. I feel like this is wasteful. It's not a boss fight. It probably is wasteful, for being honest. <sighs> All right, you know, we'll get through this. We got this, it's not a big deal, guys, not a big deal. Although now, I'm, wait, wait, we can end it early. Let's save some of that energy. I mean, we didn't save much. Oh, a whole nother area over here. We missed the Boatman coin. I am desperate for Boatman coins because it will lead to my full... Uh, there it is. Okay, that one wasn't as hard to get to. That's nice. Then we got one more in the previous area. I'm going to go straight across and see if I can grab it real quick. I'm all about the boatman coins, guys, because that's part of the currency you need, uh, you know, to level up all these abilities. Grabbing up some healing. These guys don't know what hit them. A black orb of death is what hits you, brother. Okay, Strife, enough with the flippy flips. You're like all over the place. Okay, little south of where I'm at. Where is it? There it is. It's like I didn't even come over here before or something. There we go, we got it. And now there's a bunch of wandering Jekylls. What are these guys? Come on, War. Need a little bit of your melee expertise for a minute here. These guys look like goblins of some kind. I'm not sure. And easily dispatched, nonetheless. Okay, well, we can move back over to this third area. I dare say, let's... Come on! Come on, my healthy steed. Let's go over here and see what we can see. Here's the last one. Alright, we are about to make a mess of you, sir. Or waste all our special ability. You know, because that happens, too, occasionally. Execution time! Yeah! Alright, all the seals are clear. We're ready to move on, gentlemen. The barrier is broken. Alright, but you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna do a little bit of cleanup here. We, my friends, are gonna try to get all the collectibles in the area. Tide Hunter Shaman, Chaos Form, and Anarchy Form builds 2.5% per faster! That is a sexy statistic. 
It's alright. I'm just in the moment, guys. I'm having fun with this. Oh, what is this? Oh, what is this? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let's collect all the little Orbeez. What is this madness? Oh, I got more excited than I needed to do. A map of Eden's hinterland occupied by corrupted tide hunters. That sounds epic. Maybe more epic than it needs to be. But, okay, this was all hidden until I got to this map. And it's so ironic that we get the map at the end of my exploration. But to be fair, it did it is showing all the boatman coins. And a health stone. Oh, there is a health stone here. There is according to the stats on the right hand side, there should be two in this area. I'm just not sure where that second one is. This one is the skull a full one? I think it is. So let's go to let's go southwest. But also, let's find the Boatman coin that's right here. Oh, bam. We almost missed that, Boloney. Uh-oh. All right, time to test out what this is. Let's see where this one goes. Oh, there's lots of directions for this one. Uh-oh. And go left, right. I don't even know what the goal is. I have no idea where I'm heading. Might be heading blindly. Okay, here's one. Oh, well, we failed that one quite miserably. And I don't know it. I don't know if there's shorter paths or what the purpose of the branching directions is. Okay, we, we're gonna let's try this way. Let's shake it up a bit. Oh, that's a dead end, and this is a narrow passageway that is a shortcut, but way more narrow than I'm willing to waste my time on, guys. So there you go. That's why it offers those directions. So let's tackle it on straight forward. There we go. All right, let's see where this goes. Woohoo! Ooh, a trickster key, and but there's also another one of these. Okay, where does this go, and what is its purpose? Okay, here's a really wide path. I enjoy the wider paths. Oh, all right. That is definitely not a uh, corner we want to take. Let's go up here. Between the cliffs, slightly more narrow. Dead end, flicking around. Take it. Okay, well... Each failure is a successful uh, assessment of where we need to go next. Oh my goodness. I promise, guys, you will not have to sit through all of these failures if it becomes tedious like it's starting to. <laughs> okay, come on, come on, come on, here we go. I know it sounds like I don't care or. I'm trying not to get frustrated. This is kind of a, t a tedious hmm, thing amongst the things in that. Those are dead ends. Those don't help. That also doesn't help. Where are we going? Where? We've gone off the beaten... P oh, there we go. Now I've got to circle around and hope I don't lose it. Wow! Didn't expect to pull that one off. <laughs> but thank you for sticking around. Okay, we're going to let this land... Yes! Trickster key! 18 completed. Key master number two. Achievement acquired. What is this delicate flower? Oh, it's one we have to attack? That's different. Oh! Spectral angel. Increased strikes. Hot streak bullet count by 5%. Increased war's tremor gauntlet damage by 2.5. Oh, very nice. What's this one? Corrupted tide hunter. Synergy charges 3.75% faster. Also a nice notion here. Okay, so like we've done... There's something else right there. What is that? Oh my goodness, it says I haven't gotten it yet. What does that mean? Um... I want to explore, but I also don't want to die. I made it not where I thought I would. It seems like there's something more here, but this is like the chest. I broke the chest. I unlocked it. There's nothing else over here. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What is what is up with this? What? This is an unexpected ledge that I have found. Which leads to another unexpected ledge. Where am I on this thing? It says I'm right there, and so... What else am I not... What is up here? 
Why am I able to explore up here? This is weird. Where is this going to lead? Do, are we going to find something here? Hmm, secrets abound as we wander the outer perimeter of this location. Valley of Rain, and now we're now we're dead again. Okay, put me back here. I mean, this was the thing. But it's not checked off. <sighs> uh, wait a minute. Okay. Nope. Alright, well, you know what? We tried. We're gonna work our way back to the, that boatman coin over there. Let's go get that one. Okay, we're in the overlook. That's the chest we got. Okay, we need to go a little bit to the side here. Oh, there's a boatman coin. Alright, there it is. Right here in the corner. Bam! Valley of Rain. Okay. Now, just a little down to the side is a health stone. So, down into the side. We're kind of trying to look for that. Hmm. More fodder here. What is this all about? What are these guys doing here? Execution moves are always a good time. His melee is not doing too bad, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I like the widespread nature of that of this gun, honestly. Okay, let's get him out of here. Oh, extra damage. Healing orb and it's taking him out. I love it! Oh, 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 we got one of these guys up here. And there's a healing thing right nearby. Where is it? Ah, oh, man, where is it indeed? Am I going to have to come back for that one? Okay, this is a shop. We've got 28. We don't have any more souls. I can't afford much. Oh, let's get the cheap stuff. On a roll, hot streak upgrade. Looks like that's all I can get. I don't have enough. Cut it and see if I have anything else. Okay, now the thing is, it's saying it's right up here somewhere. Okay, if that's a thing right there, then it's up. Up here somewhere. Where do, how do I get to it? Let's try this back corner spot here. That's not helping. Okay, well, I don't think I need to max out my characters for the finale of this game. I just, I like getting everything on the fr as close to the first one as possible. But, maybe it's not possible. I don't know. Is there like another path up this way that I can do? Oh, yes there is. Oh, here we go. Here's another nest that we did not know about. Alright, we're gonna melee the crap out of these bugs for a minute here. I'll take them in stride. Yes! Alright, let's clear this out. There's gonna be something good here. That's what I want. Ah, area of effect. There we go. Let's blast the whole nest. Come on, you little pips. Little squeaky pips, pip squeaks. Alright. It's gotta be around here. I am trying to get rid of all the bugs in this area. And I, maybe the queen will be the final minor core. Alright. There's lots of minor cores. That's definitely something we're always trying to get. Alright, two out of three done. End it! Yes, let's do that. Let's end what they are doing here. Okay, okay, it's got to be right around here somewhere, right? Where, where are you? Let's check the map. Oh, we are way off course. Well, way off course from where we thought that thing was. Can we go? 
some other backside thing here to get to it? No, is that not a thing? I wonder, can his Vorpal Blade do anything? Is that is that a thing? Nope. That doesn't lead to anything. That is a waste of time. We are in this upper corner. There's a chest around the corner. Hmm. Here we go. Hadn't found this one yet. Oh dear. Alright. We'll do this one and then we'll call it quits, gentlemen. We've got a... Come on, get off my back. I'm done with you little runts. You're just making this harder on yourself. Yeah, guys, I know. Plot-wise. You know, I try to include in the title of our videos when I'm actually accomplishing a very specific thing, like if it's a boss battle. Uh, but unfortunately, a lot of these chapters are two parters. Two parters. Because there's just a lot of collecting in each one. So, that being said, as I open up this chest and find nothing but souls, which are still good because we need to eventually max out our character, I'm looking at the map here and I'm seeing a handful of things. I'm seeing a couple things. Uh, we could jump right to the portal and jump into maybe a boss battle, but... I need to destroy the corrupted tide hunter shaman. Okay, that must be the finale for this. So, guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to 100% collect these things. That's what this journey has been about. There's a bunch of boatman coins up here in the northeast corner. So, and I still don't know what that is. But, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Hit subscribe. Hit that like button. Keep up to date with all our playthroughs. And uh, for now, guys... This is the end of part 22. I'll see all my gaming nerds on the other side.